having a beautiful lawn and schmick hedges can be a mystery to a lot of people. But really, it's just regular maintenance and a few tricks. So I'm going to show you how you can get your hedges looking great short term and long term. If you have a look at this guy, it has burst to life in the last couple of weeks. Bit of rain, warm weather, spring has definitely sprung. You can get rid of these spikes because they're just water shoots by hand if you want, and that'll tidy it up. But I reckon just the lightest of haircuts, the easiest of jobs, and your hedge will look beautiful. Now, when to prune? Well, I reckon a day like today where it's cool and when you do take off that new growth, what's underneath isn't going to get sunburnt in a scorcher of a day. Well, there you go. The hedges love to get it. It only took a couple of minutes. I've taken the lightest bit off. So the positive is, it still looks good. The negative is, I'll be out here in a couple of weeks to do it again. And as far as how much I took off, well, next to nothing. It's a little bit like trimming your beard. The next way to hedge is probably the way most people do it. Once or twice a year, just to control its size. You can see the lily pilly here is growing out. I'm running out of places to sit. So I need to keep it compact because, believe it or not, this hedge is the same plant as that one there. So keeping it compact like this means I need to reduce it every now and then. And that means taking off all this new growth back to the older, darker stuff. Doesn't look good straight away, but because this is the growing season, it'll recover nice and quick. Now, if you're not confident you think you're going to butcher it, a great tip is to set up a tomato stake at each end and run a string line just higher than where you want to finish it. You do it higher so you don't cut through the string line and then you get a nice straight line. And if you are confident, you should still stand back every now and then and make sure you're doing it right. If you want to tackle it quickly or if you've got a lot of work, battery electric or even petrol hedges are the way to go. Now, this is a commercial one. I use it a lot, but it does wear you out quickly because you're carrying a lot of weight away from your body. A little battery-operated one like this is fantastic, especially if you're just getting rid of the light, fluffy stuff. The more often you do it, the easier the job. I'm not bashing it up, but I am cleaning it up. By giving it a rough rake, things pop out like this that I don't want to be there. And down the bottom, where I've moved this bit, I can see where my hedger didn't come down to the ground. I can tidy it up as I go. When it comes to larger leaf plants, like this viburnum, if I'm to use shears, you're going to end up just butchering the leaves like that, and then that leaf will dry out, and the whole plant will look like it needs a really good feed and drink. So what I do, rather than using shears or hedges, is grab a pair of secateurs, and go in and just take out the taller ones. It keeps your hedge compact, and it means you have no ripped or torn leaves. So the plant looks fresh and healthy all year round. The best thing about this technique is you've got your hand on every piece you're cutting. So you're cleaning as you're going. Probably one of the things we hedge up the most is buxus. It's this little plant down the bottom here and it's also topreed here into a pyramid. We've got Buxus balls around the place, and if you want them to look really good, I reckon you need to prune them about once a month. You should just be taking off one leaf at a time. That way, you've always got a little bit of new growth coming through. They get nice, thick and healthy, and I reckon a touch of class in the garden. If your hedge is looking a little bit tired and sunburned, it might just need a heavy trim. So I reckon you need to rejuvenate it. What I'm going to do is take off about 100 mil of the whole foliage. That way, what I remove is a perfect little cutting that'll strike quite easily. All you've got to do is keep that moist, and voila, you've got next year's hedge for free. What a great day. We've pruned and we've shaped. Well, we've shaped the future of this garden.